Want to play the Pokemon TCG in 2023? Let's get started. Today I'll explain the standard format and summarize the cards leaving standard format this upcoming April. The standard format is the most popular official tournament format for sanctioned events in the Pokemon trading card game. It is a rotating format, meaning that certain sets of cards are rotated in and out of the format at regular intervals. The rotation schedule is determined by the Pokemon Company International and is typically announced a few months before it takes effect. The purpose of rotation is to keep the tournament scene fresh and balanced by removing older cards that may have become too powerful or dominant in the current metagame and introduce new cards and strategies. The specific sets that are included in the standard format can vary from year to year, but typically the most recent sets are included while older cards are rotated out. Players can check the official Pokemon website for the most up-to-date information on the current standard format and the upcoming rotation schedule. On April 14th, all cards with the regulation D mark will rotate out of standard format. All cards with E, F, or later regulation marks are legal for tournament play. In addition, any cards that have been reprinted with a later regulation mark are also legal for play. An example of this is Boss's Orders, which was originally printed with the D regulation mark and was later printed with updated regulation marks. You can use any of these in standard format since the newest Boss's Orders has a standard format legal regulation mark. Now let's cover some of the most relevant cards leaving standard format, and the best substitutes for them, if any. Drizzile and Inteleon have been invaluable for searching out specific trainer cards as you need them. These cards have been great for decks with combos and an array of options that are situationally useful. While we don't have an exact replacement for this evolution line, Curlia with Refinement, Gardevoir with Shining Arcana, and Gallade with Buddy Catch should be a great lineup of useful Pokemon to keep your deck running smoothly. Frostmoth has seen niche play throughout its time in Standard, and the best way to replace it for now will probably be Melanie. There are other cards like Blastoise with Vitality Spring that can attach several energy at once, but are likely not competitively viable for several reasons. Galarian Zigzagoon from the Sword and Shield expansion will be sorely missed. This basic Pokemon has been a mainstay of standard format since its release. One damage counter may seem small, but it can be the difference between winning and losing more often than you'd expect. A new Halucha card with a similar ability is releasing in Scarlet and Violet, but won't be a one-for-one -one replacement since Halucha can only target benched Pokemon. Zacian V is one of the strongest cards in the history of the game, so it is unlikely we will see an exact replacement for this card anytime soon. However, if you enjoyed the aggression and consistency of this basic Pokemon, you may enjoy the new Maridon EX and Coridon EX cards since they offer similar consistency and speed. You might also enjoy the sick designs on Into the AM t-shirts. Express your passion and personality with designs like Final Rest, Night District, and the one I'm wearing right now, Blooming Waters. Use my link or coupon code to get 10% off at IntoTheAM.com. Aranguru's Primate Wisdom has been a beloved utility for many decks throughout its time in Standard. It is sad to see this go since it was never overpowered and it was pleasant to have around. Rotom Phone, which can offer a similar utility, is also rotating out of Standard format. Switching Cups is the best option we have to replicate these cards, but I'm not sure it's good enough to be included in your deck for a one-time use. If I could pick one D-Block card to stick around, I think it would be Aranguru from Sword and Shield. Air Balloon will be gone, and it will be easily replaced by higher counts of Switch and Escape Rope, as well as new cards like Beach Court, and in a later set, Jet Energy. Marnie is gone! This supporter card will remain infamous for years to come due to its ability to turn a game on its head by sending your opponent's hand to the bottom of the deck. Judge is an easy card to slot in its place, but the recently revealed Iono card will be an incredible replacement when that is released in English later this year. Quick Ball and Evolution Incense are two generally useful cards that will no longer be in standard format. Scarlet and Violet welcomes a reprint of Nest Ball, and we already have Ultra Ball and Capturing Aroma in Standard, so these losses are easily replaced. Big Charm and Cape of Toughness are both rotating. Charm of Courage is similar to Cape of Toughness and will be released later this year, but until then it looks like we'll have to use cards that reduce damage, like Full Face Guard and Rock Chest Plate, if we want to replicate the extra HP these rotating tool cards provided. Ordinary Rod will be sorely missed from Standard format. 
Super Rod will be reprinted sometime later this year, but until then a combination of Miriam and Energy Recycler should suffice for the decks that need to recycle both Pokemon and Energy cards. Scoop Up Net has been an incredible card for years now, and while there won't be an exact replacement for it, there doesn't need to be a card like this in every format. Penny is a new card that can provide a similar utility, but much less often since it is a supporter card. Capture Energy was one of my personal favorite cards from the Sword and Shield block, and it is leaving the format with no direct replacement. A lot of energy cards are suffering this fate, as all 9 type specific special energy cards, Aurora Energy, and Twin Energy are also rotating out of standard. I hope we see another cycle of type specific energy cards soon, because they were a fun and diverse part of deck building. All 9 amazing rare Pokemon are also rotating out of standard format. While most of these saw little to no play, amazing rare Eviltal, Raikou, and Rayquaza have been played enough these past few months to make up for the rest. Snorlax from Vivid Voltage has been an important draw engine, especially for control style decks. I'm interested to see how they will adapt without the Gormandize ability available. Another Pokemon great at drawing cards is Crobat V, which will also be rotating out of standard. I think we have plenty of ways to draw cards though, so I'm not too upset about this one. Bibarel, Curlia, and Gardevoir are all great options for drawing more cards with Pokemon abilities, and as for trainers, Professor's research never goes out of style. I didn't list every single card that's rotating in this video, but I covered the most generally usable and important cards that you should know about. Most cards found in Battle Styles and any set released after Battle Styles will be legal for standard format after the rotation next month. This is the first format rotation in which TPCI is removing cards by their regulation mark instead of their set. So just remember, you can use any card with an E, F, G, or later regulation mark. It might take a little getting used to the new regulation mark system. If you have any questions that weren't answered in this video, please do comment below. My last piece of advice today, I suggest purchasing single cards when you need pieces for a specific deck, and buying packs of the newest sets when building a collection, since the newer cards will be legal for a longer time. Be sure to check out potownstore.com for all of your PTCGO and PTCG Live code card needs. Use code CELIO for 5% off to support my channel. Check out PokemonCard.io for deck building, forums, news, and more. And use my Dragon Shield affiliate links in the description down below when shopping for Dragon Shield sleeves to help support my channel. Standard format is sure to shake things up. You can begin playing the E-Regulation Standard format on PTCG Live on March 30th and at official events on April 14th. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.